the classroom is changing drastically. In about a month, students may be logging on for school. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield shows us what you can expect and the challenges for teachers. Math, reading, writing, they're the foundation to learning in schools. Let's start with something. But what can teachers do when they can no longer teach from here? We logged on to Zoom to get a quick lesson from Suzanne Tiemann and Gina Chambers. Is it fair to say the pandemic has changed what education might look like now and in the future? Oh, oh absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Both Gina and Suzanne are assistant professors of education at Park University. They're the ones who teach teachers how to teach, which has been changing every day due to the coronavirus. We have even changed our lesson plan design now so that it has a new component to it says, how do you move it online? Even before COVID, Park University offered a master's program focused on technology and teaching, but that too is getting revised to focus less on specific apps and more on the application of knowledge. Help them uh, learn flexibility and agility in no matter what the circumstances and to continue to help them fill their toolbox of different ideas and ways that they can teach. And it's something they are learning how to do too, away from campus, online, in their homes. I think online was do something on the computer, whereas now we're understanding that it's using the web conferencing, using uh, small groups. So it can be figured out. It's just you got to take, you just have to shift. You just have to shift how you traditionally did it. Choose the word. Reporting in Parkville. That best completes the sentence. Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.